So eSIM as a service, uh, that's a, a exciting and potentially huge new market. How's that going for you? Very well. You know, we've been waiting for, for the digitalization of the SIM card and the mobile network, um, you know, ever since we started this. So up until now, we've really had, you know, huge barriers to entry. Now with eSIM, it's totally digital. Um, you know, with the with, with digital distribution becomes massive scale. But I guess, uh, you know, there's still some compatibility challenges there, aren't there, with different uh, uh, operators, services and things like that. But you, you've, uh, you, you've tackled that problem, haven't you? Over the years, what we've done is um, we've built a global mobile network uh, call and we've integrated with every single mobile network operator in the world. And then what we do is we expose this single platform to our customers for them to be able to have a single eSIM um, that can be controlled uh, through one platform. So it's a single API um, that can rate, tariff, troubleshoot every single network in the world. You know, as a tourist, I'm familiar with the travel eSIM, uh, but uh, the IoT market, um, that sounds like it's a, a growing market. I mean, uh, what, what's the status of it now? And yeah, we, we've got customers that are targeting consumer eSIM in the travel vertical and IoT um, eSIM uh, uh, for global connectivity, multi-network connectivity. Um, and we see that um, you know, from, a, from a mobile network perspective, they have always looked for solutions to be able to penetrate both of these markets. I think that the thing that's got the whole industry excited is that mobile network operators have always looked for creative revenue and ways to unlock uh, what the industry has always termed as style of rovers. And they, they would ordinarily arrive at their destination and buy a local SIM card and have to open up their devices and put in put in a new SIM card, um, or or they would rely just solely on Wi-Fi. Now they just have an app that they have on their phone, and within a couple of minutes they can just download download an eSIM. You mentioned there hasn't been the same level of standardization with IoT. What needs to happen there in order for IoT to um, uh, to really take off as far as this technology goes? We're seeing some huge changes on in, in IoT. Um, there's, there's a lot of standardization that, that is starting to be adopted. The GSMA recently adopted a new uh, ESIM standard called SDG32. Um, this is going to effectively combine uh, both the IoT ESIM standard and the consumer ESIM standard into, into one standard. What's an example of how that uh, GSMA new standard, how, the, how does that uh, uh, make uh, IoT applications operate more efficiently on a or more usefully on a global level. We're going to be at MWC speaking to um, our travel eSIM MVNOs, speaking to MNOs that are looking to launch travel eSIM solutions, uh, talking to IoT MVNOs um, about how they can uh, take uh, take advantage of the eSIM opportunity, um, get, uh, get to market faster, to capture this, uh, this, this revenue. Um, um, up until now, you know, you've had, um, you know, physical infrastructure, um, you know, to be able to support the core network, specific hardware to be able to, um, support, um, support the subscriber base. Um, where we are going and what eSIM represents and actually what 5G represents is, is, is the cloud networking digitization that's taking place. So it's a really exciting time for the industry.